F. So here's Donnell Gooch right in the middle for Bluefield. Rams wearing the white jerseys going right to left. Matching up with Joseph Vanderhorst. Ball is in the air. The tip goes the way of Nyquan Cousins. And Bluefield starts out with possession. Jemiah Jenkins, the sophomore from the 7-5-7, walks the ball across the timeline. He's joined by Tyquan Reed as well as Gooch. Cousins in the low post as well as Brandon Shields, the freshman for Bluefield. Pulls up from the right wing, looks for the three too hard, and a rebound is snatched out of the air by the man in the black jersey and Warren Vincent. Here's a three from the left side. It's no good, and it's missed by Jamon Bailey. Jamon Bailey, the freshman guard for St. Andrews. Rams moving fast in transition, going right to left, still no score, and 30 seconds a lap in this one. Entry lob down to Cousins. Pitches back out left wing. Jenkins around the arc they go. Shields has it in the right wing. Drives right baseline. Picks it back up. Zips right wing. Reed rises for three and connects on the first basket of the game. Three to nothing. Bluefield leads as Taekwon Reed gets it done from the right wing. Now a foul is called right in front of the basket. Rather it's going to be a turnover called on St. Andrews. Knights are headed by Randy Hernandez now in his fourth season. Nineteen oh eight left to go in the game. Taekwon Reed connecting for Bluefield. That'd be a key for Bluefield. Last time out, couldn't hit those clutch shots, and they have to create the good opportunities for them. Taekwon Cousins overheads a pass to Taekwon Reed around the arc. They go. Jenkins steps into a triple from the far corner. No good. Cousins came and tried to get the rebound, and instead slapped the ball off of Luis Rossi, the junior from Brazil for St. Andrews. He'll pass the ball in for the Knights. It's three to nothing. Eighteen fifty-three left to go. Point guard running the ball up. It's Christian Lathan, senior guard from Fayetteville, North Carolina. On a hip-high dribble in that St. Andrews jersey, black with white letters and numbers in blue trim. Rossi carries the ball into the left block and gets fouled on his way to the rim. Will it be a shooting foul? It's going to be called on Shields, his first of the game, and that'll send Luis Rossi to the line. Rossi's the only player to have started and played in every game. 18-41 left in the first half. Rams leading 3 to nothing. That right foot on the line for Rossi, and the Brazilian shoots and misses the first free throw. So it stays 3 to nothing. Rams eyeing what could be their sixth conference win after starting out 3-0. and Second shot goes for Rossi. It's 3-1. to one. SAU is on the board, making the trip up from Laurenburg, North Carolina. Full court press that the Rams are tasked to get out of. They finally do here on the left side. Reed feeds far corner. It's an errant pass to Shields. Picks it back up and tosses it over to the guard. Rams with these quick darts around the court, and a foul is called down low on the entry pass to Nyquan Cousins. He was draped there by a couple of Knights defenders. We'll have to see who that foul is exactly on, and it's going to go on Vanderhorst. Junior from Fayetteville, North Carolina. His second start of the season as he's lined up now in the left block. Now an inbounds pass from Jeremiah Jenkins, who usually takes these tasks for Bluefield. Has to stutter a bit, chucks it up in the air, and it's caught by Taekwon Ree with 18 and a half minutes to play in the first half. Jenkins tosses the ball into the right elbow for Donnell Gooch. Rises and misses the shot. Rebound clapped in by the guard in Warren Vincent. Here comes Lathan in transition. Tosses the ball back out to Vincent. Pumps a three, misses from the left wing. Rebound Jeremiah Jenkins. Rams have it back with a 3-1 lead. Taekwon Reed lobs down low, tipped out, and intercepted in the air by Jamon Bailey. Trying to move quickly again. Here comes Vincent, bumping into the lane, and he's rejected as that ball flew into space. Nyquan Cousins packing the guard for St. Andrews. It was 17.59 left to go. It'll be an inbounds pass for St. Andrews in this near corner. Very impressive what Nyquan Cousins is able to do, only playing organized basketball one year in high school. That was his senior season. Vanderhorst misses an ugly long two from the top of the arc, and it's pulled down by Nyquan Cousins. Three to one, the score. Shields jumps for three. Swish. Six one, the score. Rams have connected on two three so far in this game, and the freshman from West Virginia gets it done. Six to one, they lead over this team from Laurenburg, North Carolina. Five point lead for Bluefield. Now having it in this corner, Vincent pressured by Nyquan Cousins. Good matchup zone that the Rams are playing in. Shield stepping up into the right side, taking up Vanderhorst. Vincent tosses a ball, intercepted by Nyquan Cousins. Rams moving quickly in transition. Reed gallops into the lane. A tie up is called. Who will possession arrow point to the Knights? Possession returns to St. Andrews, just 
right after that steal, so the Rams can't get anything done in transition after the turnover. And the ball will be taken up by the senior guard in Lathan. 17.05 left to go in the first half. Rams lead by five. Vincent has it at the top of the circle. Entry lob down low. Vanderhorst collides as he goes to the rim. And a good job by Brandon Shields to pop that ball away. It's a missed shot. Shields picks the ball in the far corner. Puts it back on the deck. Gives it to Cousins. Right down the lane. He goes. His layup. No good. But as it bounces off the rim, a foul is called on Vanderhorst for St. Andrews. Second team foul on St. Andrews and the second one on Vanderhorst with 16.50 left. So in three minutes and 10 seconds, the forward for St. Andrews already has two fouls in the books. That'll bring Nyquan Cousins to the line for Bluefield. Cousins, the all-around athlete for the Rams, and his first season in Bluefield last year was a sixth man as he hits that first free throw. Makes it 7-1. to one. But now we're starting to see in his second season at Bluefield out of Vance Granville Community College that he really is just a great starter for the Rams. Taekwon Reed went to Community College with him, both coming from the Raleigh, North Carolina area. Both shots go for Nyquan Cousins. 8-1 to one the score. Rams open up with a seven-point lead. Only shot going was a free throw from Luis Rossi. And in the backcourt, Nyquan Cousins is called for a foul, trying to reach in to pick that ball away from Christian Lathan, but instead he got all body according to the referee. Second team foul on Bluefield, eight to one. The score remains, and now they will back off with that full court press. Uh, Bailey ready to pass the ball in. Freshman to his senior guard. He does so. Lathan taking the ball up with his just 5'11 frame. Vincent dishes in the far corner. A three ball is no good for the freshman. And after the miss from Bailey, it's pulled down by Taekwon Reed. Gallops onto the other end. Jenkins almost carried the ball, lost it in the lane, bounces off the side of the backboard and into the hands of Lathan after that ugly possession for Bluefield. So here comes Lathan on a pump fake. Drives in, bounces near corner. Vincent drives baseline into a double team, and he walks. Nyquan Cousins and Donnell Gooch high-fiving after they trapped the guard there, and he walked in the process trying to go inside out. So the score remains 8-1. to one. Rams back with the ball, taking it right to left. Jeremiah Jenkins, at point guard for Bluefield. This is the Donnell Gooch. Overheads, far corner, Brandon Shields turns to the point guard in the deep right wing. With 16.05 left to go in the first half. Rams lead by 7. Now the senior from Goldsboro, North Carolina, Reed gives to Gooch. Now to Cousins onto the basket, and he's fouled. That'll send him back to the line. Now St. Andrews, much like the women's team we saw from St. Andrews, very frustrated to start out in the first half. Of course, the Knights ended up getting the win in women's basketball by just two points, a heartbreaker for Bluefield. But now the Rams trying to equalize here in this basketball doubleheader. Cousins two of two from the line tonight, make it three of three as he flicks the wrist and scores to make it nine to one. 15-57 left to go in the first half. First Rams men's basketball game at the Dome in 2019. Perfect time to bounce back. Nyquan Cousins is too hard there on that second free throw. Bounces off the back iron into the hands of Rossi who hands it off to Lathan in the backcourt. Rams try to work a midcourt press, they can't. Now a three for Bailey, he swishes from the far corner. First shot from the field, sank by St. Andrews in this one, makes it nine to four. Five point lead for the Rams. Reed lobs the ball onto the far end of the floor to Jenkins as they trade the ball around. Back to Jenkins, top of the key. Entry lob at the right elbow, Nyquan Cousins. Pressured by Bailey, lobs it down to Donnell Gooch. Looks it in with the right hand. Well, the 6'9 senior from North Carolina gets it done to make it 11 to four. Once again, Bluefield, instead of using these hard dishes, have just used moon shot passes to get it done so far. New player in is Myron Williams for St. Andrews, who hits a shot. 11 to 6 now, the score after the shot from the right elbow goes, and Bluefield leads by five. Every possession looks just about the same for Bluefield. Long lobs across the court. Jenkins and Taekwon Reed starting it out. And now with the inside out action as Reed zips it down to Cousins. Chest pass goes awry, and it's picked out of the air by Jamon Bailey after the ball went off of the body of Dunnell Gooch. Under 15 minutes to play. Rossi now for St. Andrews into the right wing. Bounces right block to Williams. Spins, hooks with the right hand. Nothing but net. So now 11-8. Rams lead goes all the way down to just three. 
Another move shot pass to Tyquan Reed in the left wing. A crossover dribble returns top of the key. Cousins chest pass Jeremiah Jenkins. Hands off in the corner for Brandon Shields, who tickles the twine from the right corner. So the freshman, his second triple of the ball game, and it gets it right back up to a six-point lead for the Rams, 14 to 8. 14, 13 left to go as Vincent tries to work for space. Goes in, scoops from the right and misses. But on the stick back is Myron Williams on that left block. He scored on the last three possessions, makes it 14 to 10. Here come the Rams. Jeremiah Jenkins, chest pass, Nyquan Cousins, feed Shields. Another corner three. This time it's an air ball, got a bit too excited. Right into the hands of Rossi. 14 10, the score. Rams up by four, but St. Andrews has the ball as Ben Grove is ready to get into the game. Pulling up for three, Jamon Bailey swishes in the face of Brandon Shields. It's a one point game. 14 13, the score. 13 40 left in the first half. Taekwon Reed gives to Gooch. Chest pass right wing for Jeremiah Jenkins, who looks at Richard Morgan for a brand new offensive look. 13 and a half minutes left to go. Rams lead by one in the first half. Reed has it. He's hit one three. Gives it back towards Jenkins at the logo, trades it back to his guard and Taekwon Reed. A good lob down low, and Nyquan Cousins tomahawks a dunk for the first time in 2019 here in the Dome. 16 13 the score. Into the corner goes Lathan. Rams working with energy now as Vincent launches and connects on a pro length three to tie up the game at 16 to 16. 12.55 left to go. We've got ourselves a fun one, folks, as Taekwon Reed works into a three, and he's fouled by Lathan in the right wing. Bad foul there for Lathan. That looked like it was going to be short, and Lathan got his body, so Taekwon Reed goes to the line for three free throws. Here's Taekwon Reed, one of the scoring leaders for Bluefield. South Paul from Goldsboro, North Carolina, and he missed the first free throw. Score stays at 16-16. Rams are working off of being up by as much as 9-1. to one. St. Andrews finally woke up. Second of three free throws. Back and right, miss again. So Taekwon Reed, 15 points per game. Coming into this game, a 78.5% free throw shooter. Starting out the night, 0 of 2. And he missed all three as that one rims out. Rebound by Myron Williams. Richard Morgan has to be quite a bit frustrated after that trip to the line. Here comes Vince and steps into the lane. Looked like he carried it like a football, but a foul is called as he was tripped up. That'll go on Nyquan Cousins and be his second foul, team third. Stops the clock at 12.40. And a couple of brand new faces jogging in for St. Andrews and Isaac Clay, as well as DeAndre Harvey, another freshman. Inbounds pass onto the right side. Clay lobs it up in the air. It's snatched out by Vincent, driving in. Hard dish onto the far end. Bailey pumps a three. Two short rolls over the backboard after it got a hard bounce off of that left side of the basket. 12-33, score remains tied. Vincent. Really the leader for St. Andrews, averaging 16.9 points per game. He scored 29 in that big upset against Union. Meanwhile, out onto the floor for Bluefield the first time in this game, it's Ben Grove, the freshman from Atlanta, Georgia. Passes top of the arc. Taekwon Reed, Concepcion also on the floor for the first time. Senior from Chesapeake steps into a pass, left wing. Jemiah Jenkins bounces near corner. Cousins on a head fake. Pumps that long mid-range and misses an air ball. Straight into the hands of Vincent for St. Andrews. 12.05 left to go. As Vincent jogs the ball up to Myron Williams. Puts it on the deck. Hooks with a right hand. No good. Rebound goes off the hands of Cousins. And the and one falls after DeAndre Harvey worked his way down the baseline. Hit the reverse layup and he was hacked in the process. 18 to 16, St. Andrews leads. DeAndre Harvey, 6'4 guard from Burlington, North Carolina. Now tries to complete the old fashioned three point play. Bluefield has gotten cold midway here in the first half. Harvey misses the free throw, rebound Ben Grove on the left side of the basket. So the lead stays at two, 18 to 16. Jeremiah Jenkins coming into this game, averaging right around 12 points per game. Has it the right wing again after Concepcion gave it to him. 
Passes Concepcion, bounces left baseline Grove. Cross court lob into the corner for Eva Phoebe. Drives in the baseline, fires a mid range. No good, bouncing off the rim, rebound Vincent. Shots are not falling for Bluefield as Vincent Gallivants into the lane. What a step. Passes onto the left baseline for Bailey. Gets it back around the arc. They go. Vincent loops a three. Can't connect. Rebound Taekwon Reed. Jenkins going one on two. Transition three. Swirls home. And the Rams have the lead right back. That's one of those rare times where Jeremiah Jenkins will do that. Saw that he didn't have the angle to go to the rim. Instead, trusted his three-point shooting ability. He got it done from the left wing. So 11 minutes left to go. Rams lead by one in the first half, 19-18. Vincent lobs on a left wing pass. Jamon Bailey, an air ball three. Vincent was right down there to get it, and he hands it off over to Harvey, who sticks it in off the glass to give St. Andrews the lead on the left side. 20-19 to the score. So can the Rams try to answer back? Been trading haymakers in this game. Bluefield moving very quick as Jeremiah Jenkins fires another three. Make that two triples in a row from the left side for the sophomore from the 7 5 7. 22 to 20. Now the score. 10 20 left to go. Clay has it at the top of the arc where the rec. Rex Specs on the left-handed dribble, bounces left block, Williams feeds it back out to Harvey, returns it to Clay, left wing three, count it. 23 to 22, another lead change here. Right back up to a one-point lead for St. Andrews. Ten minutes to play in the first half. We have played a half of a half, so a quarter of the game, if you will. As Jorge Concepcion, a no-look pass to Ben Grover, the left elbow, loops it back out into the far corner, Ibafimi. Reed has it now, trading with Eva Femi, the senior from Nigeria. Eva Femi has it back with seven on the shot clock, puts it back on the deck. Entry lob, Ben Grove dribbles off of the baseline, lost the ball. Vincent has it, picked away by Grove, gives it back to Concepcion, gets fouled and goes to the rack, misses the layup, but that'll be a foul called on Myron Williams for St. Andrews. Good job by Ben Grove after that bad look under the basket, followed it out to Vincent, stole the ball away. Now Jorge Concepcion has a chance to tie it up and take the lead. 23-22, St. Andrews leads by one. Glad to have you here on the Rams Digital Sports Network. As always, I am the voice of Bluefield Sports, Bailey Angle. It's Concepcion, the senior, misses the free throw. Bluefield not getting it done from the charity stripe so far. Meanwhile, checking into the game, it's Carlos Heath. Played against Bluefield last season. Heath only averages 4.1 points per game, but scored 14 points in his last trip to the Dome as Jorge Concepcion manages to tie the game. It's the second free throw. 23-23 the score, and Trent Dunn, the freshman, coming into the contest for Jeremiah Jenkins. St. Andrews back with the ball, all tied up 23-23, nine and a half minutes to play in the first half. Isaac Clay taking the ball up as he is parked right onto the logo, defensively pressured by Trent Dunn. Carlos Heath back with it now, wearing number two, pumps an ugly layup, but somehow that went in. A double clutch, underhanded effort, and the ball went off of the glass and into the net. 25-23 the score. Two-point lead for St. Andrews. As Jorge Concepcion gets it across the timeline, gives to Grove. Eva Femi a right wing three, no good. And Ben Grove had the right idea to give it to Eva Femi, but the veteran player for Bluefield could not hit the three. Vincent on a crossover effort, lost the ball, gave it back out. Heath now for three, back iron miss. Trent Dunn came up with it. Freshman going two on two with Reed back with him. Trent Dunn missed the layup. Eva Femi offensive board, hopes for help. And underhands it back out to Trent Dunn, who will go out towards midcourt and pass it into the left wing. Taekwon Reed rises for three, swish from the left wing. 26 to 25, Rams back with the lead now as Taekwon Reed has hit his second three-pointer of the game. Here comes Isaac Clay right in front of the Bluefield bench. Lost the ball, Trent Dunn playing great defensively now. Myron Williams trying to set up for that screen. Here's Heath on a head fake into the corner, steps up, chest pass into the right side, and a walk is called on DeAndre Harvey. Tried for the stutter step move, but dragged the foot in the process, and that gives Bluefield the ball back with 8.14 left to go in the first half. 26-25. Rams have seemed like they have played almost too quickly. 
They try to speed the game along, and both teams have not settled down to find their preferred pace of the game. And Grove dishes onto the corner for Trent Dunn. The freshman feeds it into Concepcion on a jab step, fires a mid-range, and he misses after the fadeaway can't go. It's tipped into the hands of Myron Williams for St. Andrews. Rams lead by one, 26-25, 7.44 left to go. Knights taking the ball across the timeline, left to right with their black jerseys. One arm bounce pass to Williams into the right wing. Ibafimi tries to swat the ball away, but Williams gives it onto the far corner for Isaac Clay. Back to Williams, a far two from the top of the arc, no good. And Ibafimi wrestling away that rebound. That was a good-looking board. 26-25. Rams operating with a one-point lead as Concepcion hopes for a double team, and now gives to Ibafimi and hits it from the free throw line. Should say he hopes for a double team. Found the space in Eva Femi and bounced it right through that trap. So it's 28-25 after Eva Femi hits his first basket of the ball game. A three-point lead for Bluefield with seven minutes to go. Isaac Clay dribbles in, shoots from the left elbow, and he's fouled. Went to the deck after that, and the ball almost went in on that 15-footer. So he'll go to the line. 15 foul for Bluefield. 6.59 left to go in the game. And it's the first foul on the freshman Trent Dunn. Another Raleigh connection for Ryan Moody and Richard Morgan. First shot, no good for Isaac Clay. Oh, uh -oh substitution, Donnell Gooch going into the game. Onto the floor, or onto the bench, I should say, goes Ben Grove. Second shot for Clay, it's good. Back down to a two-point contest, 28-26 the score. Rams leading by two, 6.55 left to go in the contest. Jeremiah Jenkins back on the floor as well. Ibafimi has it in the far corner, gives it over to Dunn, trading the ball around, and Ibafimi dragged the ball, or rather dragged his foot in the right wing. It's a walk into the ball, back into the hands of the Knights. Clay calls for a new offense with one finger, 6.40 left to go. Turnovers for Bluefield. They only have two, a two-point lead after leading by as much as eight. Isaac Clay into the left wing. Trent Dunn with a hand in his face, gives top of the key, Carlos Heath. Zips it onto the right wing for Vincent. Entry lob to Rossi, bounces left, block, and the shot is no good for DeAndre Harvey. A little bit of contact there, Knights wanted a foul. The Rams get the ball back with 6.20 left. Jeremiah Jenkins jumps for three, too hard, bouncing off the rim and the glass in the hands of Harvey for St. Andrews. So the lead stays at two for Bluefield, with 6.10 left to go in the first half. Isaac Clay running the point for the past five minutes or so, drives in, pitches out. Near corner three for Vincent, back iron miss. Harvey draped over the back of Jorge Concepcion, and with two hands, he volleyballed the ball over the baseline. So the Rams get the ball back with 6.01 left before half. 28-26, both teams with five fouls so far in this one. Pretty evenly fought matchup. Rams rely on the three, and sometimes when they're not falling, you see them get into these cold streaks. They don't know how to get another dimension into their game. Nyquan Cousins down on the floor. A reasonable break for him. Jeremiah Jenkins has it in the near wing, right in front of the St. Andrews bench. Rams going right to left. Except Zion calling for help. Recently just turned 22. Gives to Gooch, in pressure on the right elbow, picks it back up, bounces straight into the hands of Carlos Heath. On a fast break, goes to the basket, and scores on the layup. Tied up 28-28. Rams trying to go quickly after that mistake. Ibafimi finds Concepcion near corner on a pump fake, goes for the long two and misses in the corner. Rebound for Harvey, 28-28, under five and a half minutes to go in the first half. Bounce pass was intended for Concepcion, and it went right into the chest of Carlos Heath to tie up the game. Remember, he did score 14 points the last time he played Bluefield. Vincent has that at the top of the arc. Recently scored 29 against Union in that big upset. And on another jab step, it's a walk. Vincent, the transfer from Anderson University, talking it over with the official, not excited about that walk call. Maintains his composure, though. No technical foul called. 28-28, the score. Taekwon Reed back into the game. Trent Dunn goes to the bench. The freshman replaced by the senior. 4.55 on the clock. Taekwon Reed loops it back towards the logo for Jenkins. All kinds of trading darts around the yard. 
Rams looking for that open long shot. Jenkins works to the right off the screen. Bounces right when Concepcion. Chest pass Eva Fimi, far corner. Mid-range no good. Offensive support for Taekwon Reed. In the face of two Knights, found his way to the rim and puts the ball off the window, 30-28. to 28. Great effort for the senior from North Carolina. Boy, he really was in a bit of a bind there and found his way to the rim anyway. 425 left to go. Clay banks it home for the lead. A right wing three. 31-28. Got help from the glass. 413 left to go. Reed on those high triples he likes as those bouncy dribbles that he jumps with himself. Donnell Gooch turn around mid-range, swirls out, has to back up and get back on defense. 31-30 as Vincent had the defensive rebound for St. Andrews and bounced it back to his one guard in Isaac Clay. Clay gets the screen, drives in, passes left side, and Harvey, no doubt about it, that time he definitely walked on that moment of thought in his head, prompted a travel. 31-30 the score, 3.50 left to go. Brandon Shields into the game, has a couple of threes. Freshman got into the starting lineup. Reed has it, gives it back towards the logo for Jenkins. One arms it back to Reed, darts it around the arc again. Jenkins has it in the right wing. 3.37 left to go. Rises for the long three, bounces around, and misses. How about Vincent jumping in to get that defensive board? Looks behind his back. Jorge Concepcion couldn't get him. Pass down low, a new man in, misses the layup, and after it's not connected by Brian Brash, it's rebounded by Donnell Gooch. Jenkins, a hard sprint into the lane, misses the layup. Off the rim as Jenkins... Flies into the cheerleaders. He seems to be okay, though, but the Rams going a man down as Isaac Clay pumps that mid-range from the right elbow. First bounce didn't go. On the second bounce, you bet it went in. 33-30. to Isaac Clay has scored the last two baskets for SAU. And down by three, Concepcion hopes for help in the near corner and gives it back out as the Rams work the ball around the arc again. Donnell Gooch gives it back to Brandon Shields. He passes top of the key, Taekwon Reed. Entry lob, Gooch returns to Reed, fires a shot and misses on the left side, but he's fouled. That's going to go on Brash, his first, and a team sixth. 2.48 left to go in the first half. Rams down by three. Last time Taekwon Reed went to the line, he had three shots and missed all three of them. So now he'll have two. Left-handed, number five, shoots, and this time he connects on that charity stripe shot. 33-31. Rams on a three-game losing streak. After starting out the season very impressively, got that win over the Virgin Islands here at the Dome. Also able to get a couple of wins in that Kingsport NAIA showcase. Carry into the lane. Harvey, that was no walk as he underhands it back to Brash. Gives it back to Vincent near the logo. Two and a half minutes to go. 15 on the shot clock. Clay has it in the right wing. Trying to work off a Rossi screen. Jenkins goes out of it. Clay chucks up a long two. Tickles the twine and he's on fire. 35-31 the score. Four point lead for SAU. 17. Taekwon Reed stutters in the lane. Chest pass near corner. Brandon Shields, another air ball on a three. Too much effort on that three ball from Brandon Shields. The last couple of, couple of times he's attempted to shoot it. Randy Hernandez getting pretty hyped up on this near side bench. Another stutter step from Harvey who works his way for a layup and it bounces in. 37-31. Rams wanted a walk call there. Harvey has been called for the travel at least once tonight. Minute 50 left to go. Jenkins Darts the ball across to Donnell Gooch on that mid-court line. Now with a minute 42 left in the first half, the Rams have led by as much as eight. Now trail by six. Jenkins jumps for three, misses from the near side, and Vincent jumps in for another rebound. He is a great guard, not only a scorer, but a rebounder. Coming into this one, Vincent averages 7.2 rebounds per game, nearly a double-double. 37-31. Harvey has it in the face of Brandon Shields in the right wing in front of the Bluefield bench. Drives in, bounces left wing. A shot for Clay, too hard on the three. Right to Vincent. He tries from beyond the arc and connects. 40 to 31, a nine point lead for SAU. And a prompt timeout called by Richard Morgan.
Little over a minute left to go, and Wes Ayers is into the game for Bluefield. 40 to 31, largest lead of the half for St. Andrews. 40 31, nine point lead. St. Andrews is trailed by as much as eight. Tyquan Reed has the ball across the timeline for Bluefield, who feeds in the left wing for Jeremiah Jenkins. 52 seconds left to go on the game clock. Rams are ice cold at the moment. Concepcion has it now, feeds Reed, top of the yard, dishes left wing. Jeremiah Jenkins gets some contact, floats inside the paint, and misses as Vincent jumped up about head high with the rim and got the rebound. Here comes Brash into the lane and scores on the reverse layup. Boy, St. Andrews really is feeling it. 42-31, they lead now. 11-point lead for St. Andrews, under 30 seconds left to play. 23 on the game clock, or rather the shot clock. And now, so there is a two-second differential between the two. Taekwon Reed jumps in, scores with the foul. Stepped around the defenders, got fouled onto the right block, and that's what Bluefield needed to try to get back into this one. Count it with the foul, the and one. Zigzagging his way to the hoop. That's what Bluefield needs, the aggression to try to drive in, 42-33. And Taekwon Reed complete the and one. He sure can as the free throw goes, 42 to 34. So here comes Rossi, passes in the backcourt, Rams going man to man. Taekwon Reed is matched up with the best score for St. Andrews and Vincent. Ten seconds now left in the first half. Vincent angling his way down the lane, zips it onto the corner for Rossi, steps into a floater, swirls out, rims away. Rebound for Jenkins, one second left, has to chuck up a prayer. And it's off the backboard. 42-34, eight point lead for this team from Laurenburg, North Carolina. Ready to rock in the second half for Bluefield College basketball. Down by eight, 42-34. Rams still in the white jerseys. Now taking the ball left to right with Jenkins, Reed, Nyquan, Cousins, Gooch, Brandon Shields on the floor. Same starting lineup as Cousins drives in. Hooks a shot, no good. Blocked right back into his hands. And on the second try, he couldn't get it. Ball goes back to him again. And it's swatted out of bounds by Vincent. What a block that time for St. Andrews' is Joseph Vanderhorst. So Vanderhorst only played for those few couple of minutes to start out, and then now back into the game with that big block. So Rams still down by eight. Jenkins has to loop it back out into the left wing for Taekwon Reed. As a team leading 12 points so far for Bluefield. Cousins hands off Jenkins near wing, passes top of the arc for Taekwon Reed. Back to Reed, and now for Shields. Here's Jenkins, right elbow shot, rattles home through the 10, and the Rams are within six. It's about a 17-footer. And it's 42 to 36. 19-20 left to go. Carlos Heath not on the floor anymore as it's Christian Lathan, Vinson, as well as Vanderhorst, Bailey, and Rossi. Rossi on a head fake, drives in. Underhands to Vanderhorst, stuffs it off of the right block, and through the glass it goes into the basket. 44-36, back to an eight-point lead. St. Andrews really out rebounding Bluefield well and because of that they have also found ways to dominate down low. Nyquan Cousins only played for eight minutes there in that first half. I have to wonder if Richard Morgan will keep him out more. He does have two personal fouls. Ten on the shot clock now. Into the far corner. Cousins feeds left block down now. Gooch tries to back out. Returns into the right wing for Shields. Drives in. Five on the shot clock. Is at the top of the key. Jenkins overheads. Nyquan Cousins left wing three. Hit the rim. Rebound for Gooch and they're going to call a shot clock violation, or rather, no, he tapped his head. Thought it was going to be a shot clock violation, but it's just an official timeout trying to make sure that Donnell Gooch was okay. So he had called his own timeout, but in the process, the official tapped his head. And it looked like that was going to be a shot clock violation where it had obviously hit the rim and then went into Donnell Gooch's hands. So Gooch is out. Here comes Jorge Concepcion. So a couple of guards now on the floor for Bluefield. The big man will be Nyquan Cousins. 44-36, 18-34 left in the game. Randy Hernandez, the coach for St. Andrews, looking on from the left side. Nyquan Reed zips it into Jeremiah Jenkins. Fresh shot clock for the Rams with 18 and a half minutes to go in the game. Shields has it, has nowhere to go, and returns right wing Jenkins. Just cross-court lobbing it now as Concepcion bounces free throw line. Taekwon Reed feeds Shields. Far corner three. Count it. 
44-39. Shields now has nine points in this contest. Five-point lead for St. Andrews as Lathan jogs the ball across the timeline, switching it now to a left-handed dribble. Maya Jenkins and now Taekwon Reed stepping up on the defense as Vincent has it with those 11 rebounds and six points. Lathan dribbles in, passes near a corner. Vanderhorst, his pass tipped, almost intercepted. Rossi picked it up on the right block, and a foul is called down low. Taekwon Reed incredibly frustrated. That was nearly a steal, and Nyquan Cousins will get called with his third foul of the ball game. 44-39, and that is a foul that Bluefield obviously can do without. Nyquan Cousins... Best athlete on the floor for Bluefield, really a game changer with Taekwon Reed. As far as the season goes, and now with three fouls, have to wonder if Richard Morgan will take him out again. Rossi has two free throws. His first goes in. So Rossi now, that's his second trip to the stripe in this game. Makes it 45-39. Six-point lead. This is the second rebound goes for Jorge Concepcion. Six-point lead for St. Andrews, 17.45 left to go. Rams start out most of their possessions working the ball around the perimeter, but they haven't been able to find those effortless threes like we have seen in the past. Brandon Shields has been pretty tight on those so far in this game. Concepcion in a right-handed dribble, pumps a pass near corner for Jeremiah Jenkins, steps into a long two from the right elbow, and now he is fouled after that late whistle. And he missed the shot and went front rim, but now the sophomore will go to the line. Jenkins has yet to attempt a free throw in this contest, and he's one of the better free throw shooters for Bluefield and in the entire AAC. 89% free throw shooter, and it's the first free throw to make it 45-40. to 40. Rams down by five. Trailed by eight going into half. 17-29 left to go in the game. Jenkins flicks the wrist and scores both free throws. 45-41, a four-point lead. Here comes Christian Lathan driving near sideline. Jenkins pops off a little bit of pressure as well as contact, but no foul is called. Lathan has it on that Rams logo. 17-18 left to go. St. Andrews can tell the fire has gone out a little bit here but they still have found a way to keep the lead. Rossi underhands Lathan near wing. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Lathan dribbles into a double team. Now cuts onto the left side. Euro step to the glass. He missed the layup. Bounces around and Brandon Shield picks it up. 45-41. Rams trying to cut into this two possession lead. Here comes Concepcion. And a foul is called on St. Andrews on the drive. That's going to go on Christian Lathan. Second team foul for St. Andrews and the third on Lathan. Halts the clock with a little under 17 minutes to play. 16.54 to be exact in the game. An inbounds pass right in front of the bench for Taekwon Reed, who gives it to Jeremiah Jenkins near the logo. Returns Reed, left wing, dribbles into a double team. Underhands Nyquan Cousins, drives in. Hits the shot, but it's an offensive foul. Fourth foul called on Nyquan Cousins. And he is ready to go out. Ben Grove goes in after the charge is called. That is going to put Bluefield in a tough situation. Richard Morgan begging for him to know how many fouls he had on him. 45-41. A four-point lead for St. Andrews, and Isaac Clay is into the game. The only St. Andrews player in double figures. Cuts in, feeds Rossi. Right wing three, rattles in. 48-41. The three goes for the Brazilian. And now here comes Bluefield. Jorge Concepcion hasn't really found anything today. Underhands Taekwon Reed, misses a three from the corner, and a foul is called after the shot. It's going to go on St. Andrews on Luis Rossi. Third foul for St. Andrews, and the first one for Rossi, so the Rams will inbound the ball from the left side of the basket. 16-20 left in the game. Down by seven. Ben Grove into the game for Nyquan Cousins, has to give it over to Reed, passes top of the key, Shields returns for Reed in the left wing. Entry lob, Grove at the free throw line, overhead to pass near corner for Jorge Concepcion, drives in, shoots off of a fadeaway effort, and tickles the twine to make it 48-43. Good ball movement there for Bluefield, something we haven't seen for most of the game. Five-point lead once again for St. Andrews with under 16 minutes to play. And Isaac Clay and Warren Vincent take over the game like they did at the end of the first half. 
Offensive foul called on his screen. Isaac Clay, it was like the red sea departed on his screen, but it was illegal. Foul is called on Joseph Vanderhorst, the North Carolina native. That's his third foul, and the Rams get the ball back after the illegal screen and a five-point lead for St. Andrews. 15.45 left to go in this game. Rams trying to put an end to this three-game losing skid while St. Andrews tries to find some momentum after beating Union their last time out. Jenkins has it in the left wing. Works to the right off of Ben Grove's screen. Passes right wing. Taekwon Reed jumps and scores on the three. 48-46. Another three for Taekwon Reed. The left-handed basketball player from Goldsboro, North Carolina, is feeling it tonight. And Isaac Clay calls a timeout for St. Andrews. Ready to play again, Rams down by two, 48-46 after the big three from Taekwon Reed. St. Andrews called a timeout. Isaac Clay bounces in the left wing, passes top of Keith Bailey, who gives over to Vincent in the right wing. Sepsi unmatched up with him in the zone. Shields matches up with Bailey in the near corner. Seven on the shot clock. Rossi looked to shoot, just down low to Myron Williams, lost the ball on the right block and goes over the baseline. Rams after the timeout come out with a great defensive possession. 15 minutes left to play in the game. Rams are down by two. Went into halftime trailing by eight, but now a brand new look for Bluefield so far in the second half, keeping this one close. Reed feeds in the left wing for Concepcion, hopes for help as the senior spots up a screen from Ben Grove. Bounces right wing to Reed, gives over in the corner for Jeremiah Jenkins. Overhead left wing, Concepcion cuts in on Bailey, drives on the left side, another fadeaway air ball. Ben Grove tipped it out to Vincent. Now it's a foot race on the other end. St. Andrews going for the shot, and Vincent absolutely packed by Jorge Concepcion. Leading score for St. Andrews this year. Couldn't get the layup there as Concepcion, out of frustration, came in with the left hand and swatted the ball into the baseline. So 26 seconds on the shot clock, 14 and a half game clock. 48-46, Rossi drives on the right side, underhands, Williams hits the shot with the foul. Great idea for Rossi, went in, underhanded Williams, and he got hacked. And now he'll go to the line, 50 to 46, with a chance to make it a five-point lead again. Olatunji Ibafimi jumps in to give Taekwon Reed a break. That's the first foul, by the way, called on Jorge Concepcion. Williams bends the knees, shoots too short, right into the hands of Brandon Shields. The Rams operate with Ibafimi, Jenkins, as well as Concepcion, Grove, and Brandon Shields. Jenkins, no look dish on the right side for Eva Feeney, who has been a bit cold today as well. Concepcion spots up with a pro leg three. Yes, sir. One point game, 50 to 49. Wow, that was a long shot for Concepcion, but he had the separation that he wanted. See if the Rams can get momentum back after that one. 13.50 left to go in the game. Vincent loops a pass to Isaac Clay in the right wing, doesn't like his look, and returns it to Clay. Hard zip down low to Myron Williams, who was fouled by Brandon Shields. That'll be the fourth foul on Bluefield. Second foul on the freshman from Fairmont Senior in West Virginia. 50-49, to 49, the score, a one-point lead for St. Andrews. I'm trying to match you up here in this... Inbounds play that's ensuing for St. Andrews. Four players for the Knights are spreading out along the baseline. Now the official talking with the scores table for just a second. After that odd break in the play, a bounce pass into Myron Williams. Lost the ball. Grove went to the floor and underhanded to Jenkins, racing on the other end. Dishes to Jorge Concepcion. Reverse layup is no good off of the glass. What a quick transition that was. Back in the hands of St. Andrews. Vincent drives right baseline. His pass bounces towards the top of the arc, and Rossi slows it down. Puts it back on the deck and gives it to his point guard and Isaac Clay. 13-22 left to go in the game. Vincent has it, and you can tell he's frustrated as well, not dominating like he did against Union as Rossi goes to the floor off of a foul on that pass inside. Rossi tried to go to the rim, and he's bumped down to the floor, presumably by Ben Grove. 15 foul for Bluefield. And... There were nine seconds on the shot clock, which was incorrect, so 
Well, a quick break to get that shot clock right. 20 seconds left to go. Now on the shot clock, 13-15 left to go on the game clock. Jamon Bailey feeds it into Clay on a no-look pass. Who gives top of the key, Vincent? Arms it down low for Rossi. An ugly fadeaway jumper clapped out of the air by Brandon Shields. One-point lead for St. Andrews. Jenkins dishes it over to Concepcion. Drives right baseline. Rises for two. No good. Van Grove can't get the stick back. Instead tips it into the hands of Warren Vincent. Now he has no numbers, but trying to go coast-to-coast -coast under the basket. is one arm pass slapped out of bounds by Ben Grove. That's something that Vincent tries to do is push this game along. He doesn't have the ability to do it against Bluefield's big men down low, especially on a look like that. Trying to underhand it back out to someone parked out in the left wing, and he's lucky that Ben Grove didn't steal that ball. So here's Isaac Clay, loops it onto the left wing for Bailey, returns Clay, rises for a three, air ball from the near corner. Here comes Concepcion, who caught the air ball, down by one. Brandon Shields didn't like his look in the left wing three, and gave it right back to Concepcion. Passes right wing, Jenkins loops it on a cross-court lob for Eva Feeney. Had to keep that ball in after it almost went off of the sideline. Jenkins steps in, dishes back out, left wing, and now Shields gives it to the right wing for Brandon Shields, and now it's tipped out of bounds. Rather than Concepcion that gave to Shields, missed the three, ball tipped out of bounds on the rebounding effort, and it goes back to St. Andrews, 12-22 left to go. Thanks for tuning in here. A little bit of slippage on that left side of the basket. Well, the mop kids, it must be past their bedtime. We have a couple of third graders that come out here and do the job, but must not have gotten the call today. I believe it's a union issue. 50 to 49, after my labor joke, it'll be a brand new possession for the Knights. Here comes Isaac Clay right across midcourt. Really got St. Andrews started in the end of the first half. That's why they went up by eight, but now they only find themselves up by one. 12.05 left to go. Tip back out. Now a shot is blocked. Donnell Gooch absolutely packed Harvey. Ball goes into the backcourt, and it will be a backcourt violation. Vincent thought that the ball was tipped back by Jenkins, but instead it was just bobbled by the St. Andrews guard, so he will be the one responsible for that backcourt violation. 12 minutes flat left to go in the game. Rams down by one. Here's Jeremiah Jenkins on a hip-high dribble. Has that nonchalant pass in the left wing for Jorge Concepcion, still looking for his big shot. Needs a three to at least start to feel this game. He's in a double team right now in the left wing, tries to dribble out of it, bounces top of the arc. Jenkins gives on to the right end for Brandon Shields off a of screen. Brand Jeremiah Jenkins air balls a long two. Ugly shot, and the score stays 50 to 49. A one point lead for St. Andrews as Vincent jogs on the far sideline. Hard pass down low, floating and scoring as Harvey makes it a 52 49 lead for St. Andrews. Back to a three point game. Rams could not take the lead there. 11-17 left in this second half. Rams playing in their first game at home in the calendar year of 2019. First game at home in a month. Meanwhile, a three in the corner for Concepcion. A bit short, bounces around the rim, and he can't get the roll. Vincent right down there for another rebound. Passes in the far corner. Jamon Bailey swoops for that three and scores 55-49. Boy, he chucked that one in the air, and it just looked good right off of the hands. Rams have to work out of this press. Eva Femi jumps and misses the mid-range. Too hard. Rebound for Bailey. Rams have to be careful here. Down by six now. Can't let this game get away from them with ten and a half minutes to go. Passes to Harvey. Turns around. Scores on the long two right down the middle. 57-49. Timeout called by Richard Morgan. Lead is back to eight. Rams trail by eight, 57-49. Richard Morgan taking a much needed timeout after Harvey hit another long two right in the middle of the floor. So if the Rams can try to fight back down, it was 50 to 49 at one point, and then a 7-0 run. Sepsion spins, gives over to Ibafimi, drives right baseline and gets hacked on the right block. Rams being a bit more aggressive, trying to get to the free throw line, and they will with Ibafimi. And well, that'll be the fifth team foul on St. Andrews with 10-14 left to go. 
Ibufimi for a clutch free throw here to get the Rams back into it. His first, and it bounces out. Can't get the roll. So for Ibufimi this year from the charity stripe, nothing to write home about. This is just his third free throw right there that he missed in his fourth here. So now he's two of four on the year. 10-14 left to go in the game. St. Andrews running the ball up. It's Vincent. Long cross-court lob clapped in by Bailey, who gives it back on the mid-court line. Long lob into the left wing now. Vincent tickles the twine from that left wing three. 60-50, to 50, first double-digit lead of the game for St. Andrews as Eva Femi misses the layup. And now for Bluefield, have to wonder what's going wrong for this team this past three or four games. 60 to 50, 9.43, still plenty of time to come out and try to come back here. Clay hopes for help onto that left wing. Tries to get a screen from Williams, he does. No pick and roll option there, and passes onto the left wing for Vincent. Lob down low to Williams, and now an offensive foul. Williams turned around, smacked Jenkins in the process, drew the charge, and gave the ball right back to Bluefield with nine and a half minutes to play. Third foul on Williams who's been flat out unstoppable on those turnaround hook shots. 60-50 the score. Jenkins lets the ball roll onto that far sideline and he picks it up before it goes out of bounds. Under nine and a half minutes to play. Rams trail by double digits. Ibufimi trades it over with Reed who lobs top of the key, Concepcion zips it into Jenkins, zips it now into the near corner for Ibufimi. 9.15 left on the game clock, who has to jog it out, finds Jenkins on an open corner and a foul is called, or rather, Jenkins said to have stepped out of bounds. So now they're going to give the ball back to St. Andrews. The officials are going to try to talk about this. And they're saying that Jenkins went out of bounds to try to get open for that pass. And it goes to St. Andrews. It's just been that type of game for Bluefield. 9-12 left to go. And, and rather, they're going to give it back to Bluefield with 11 seconds on the shot clock. We don't really know how to score this. After the inadvertent whistle is what we're going to call it. Iba Femi lobs to Jakuch and gives it back to Iba Femi. Rises for three. Can't connect. Bounces into the hands of DeAndre Harvey for St. Andrews. 9-3 left to go in the second half. And Isaac Clay jogs the ball across the timeline on the near side. Rams need a big stop and a run. A couple of big stops. Isaac Clay finds separation, misses the three as it bounces off the back iron into the hands of Taekwon Reed. Senior moving in transition, finds Jemiah Jenkins, fires for three, and hits it from the right wing. 60 to 53, the score. Invested in seven, a good job by Taekwon Reed going inside out. Eight and a half minutes to go. Vincent, Vincent, left hand is dribble, steps back for the tray, no good, bounces out perfectly to Isaac Clay, overheads a pass for a lot of Myron Williams, and now a foul is called on Tyquan Reed, Reed thought he had stripped him cleanly, and instead that's going to send Williams to the line. Hard brings for Bluefield. Williams certainly, certainly has snapped up all his ball game, game, that's for sure. sure. Opposed to the dice that ends the knees. Shoots, shoots. Go, go, go. This is the free throw. Free throw scores now 60 to 50 to free throw. Free throw by 7 7. Ben Grove, ben Grove returns, returns into the game, the game for field field. Ends up in the front line of the area to get out of this bump. Last time they were here, they were here at home up the go. Up the go. Lost the first two games in 2019. Williams hits the second of two free throws to make it 61 1 53 point lead. lead. Carlos 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 is back in the back of the game. He's guard, guard. For St. Andrews, he's done out, done out. Good one on one. That was a backward violation. Lob into the right wing for Tyquan Reed. Reed, the big shot. Just consistent offensive possession. That's the line left to go. 61 53 the score. And on the shot clock, Jenkins counts his right wing. Tyquan Reed, so he steps out of the hands. He's going to lay it. Bucks up a prayer. It's no good. It'll go to the line. All that being done with seven left on the shot clock inside of eight minutes to play. Clock is up now at 758. It's a foul called on DeAndre Harvey, his first, and now the Rams are in the bonus. 
Matter of fact, the next time the Rams foul St. Andrews, that'll send them for a one and one. As Tyquan Reed hits that first, of course, this is a two-shot situation. 61-54 the score. Shoots again and hits it. 61 55 the score. Six point lead. Taekwon Reed tries to defensively pressure Vincent and he dribbled the ball off of his own leg. So now it's 61 55. Eva Femi takes the ball back. Here comes Jeremiah Jenkins, passes on to the right wing for Taekwon Reed. Zips down low to Gooch, lobs it in the left block for Grove. Didn't like the look, overhands it back to Eva Femi, dribbles in, lost the ball. Wrestling for it, back is Vincent. Such a tenacious player down low for St. Andrews. So now back with it with a six-point lead goes St. Andrews. And Driving in, and a walk is called on DeAndre Harvey. 7.22 left to go. So now back with it, Jeremiah Jenkins floats it over into the right wing for Taekwon Reed. A hard chest pass onto the left side, trading the ball around. Here comes Jeremiah Jenkins, steps into a long two from the left side, back iron and into the hands of Myron Williams. 7.05 left to go, 61.55, 7.03 left. Here's Isaac Clay trading the ball. On a crossover, hands off for Harvey. Harvey has almost walked on so many possessions as Clay dribbled the ball out of bounds. Rams need to capitalize off of these unlikely turnovers for St. Andrews. They have been pretty safe with the ball throughout the game, but now with under seven minutes, they're getting a little bit sloppy. 61-55, Jenkins hopes for a screen on Carlos Heath. Onto the left side. Out of a double team. Overheads a pass near corner. Taekwon Reed puts it on the deck, drives right baseline. A long step back two from the corner. Bounces out. Gooch ranged out for the rebound and tipped it into the hands of Jeremiah Jenkins for Bluefield. Brand new look here. Six and a half minutes to go. Cross court lob to Iba Fini on the far side. No look bounce to Jeremiah Jenkins. 6.20 left. Trading the ball around between guards. Iba Fini steps into a triple. No good. And Harvey jumped over the back of Taekwon Reed. Bounced it off of his fingers, though. And St. Andrews comes back with it. Well, the Knights should be impressed with that defensive look there. Because Bluefield could not get the penetration that they wanted. Isaac Clay taking the ball up. Time running down, 61-55. Vincent's pass tipped, but caught out of the air by Myron Williams. Another turnaround hook shot, no good. Tipped out of bounds nearly as Trent Dunn got it. Ben Grove, an effort play to swing the ball back in. Here comes Taekwon Reed, giving it back to Dunn and back to Reed. Now to Dunn, far corner three, no good. Stuffed in the deficit between that rim and the backboard. It goes out of bounds off of the hands of Vincent. Either they're going to call a foul, and that'll be the fourth one on Myron Williams. So that'll send Ben Grove to the line for a very crucial one and one here. He's two of five from the line this year. Doesn't get a lot of chances at the charity stripe. The freshman from Atlanta, 61-55. Aims for the basket, it rolls around and falls through. Very suspenseful basket. That was 61 to 56 now. Five point lead. Freshman. It's both. 61 to 57. A four point lead. Full court press for Bluefield. Taekwon Reed matched up with a number five for St. Andrews and Warren Vincent. Vincent trades the ball back up to Clay at the logo. 540 left to go. A four point lead for St. Andrews. This one has the potential of coming down to the wire. Another drive in for Harvey out of a triple team, draws a foul. That'll go on Ben Grove. So after he hits a couple of clutch free throws, that's his he's still one and one. And now two shots. They did call it a shooting foul. 61-57 the score. Harvey's first. Right through the net. 
62-57, back to a five-point lead. St. Andrews going deep into their bench for this game as Harvey hits both free throws, 63. Rams with the ball back, down by six. 5.30 left to go. Trent Dunn and Taekwon Reed trading the ball around in the backcourt before finally handing it off to Jeremiah Jenkins. Trent Dunn has been really giving the ball around with his older players. He looks like he's not trusting himself as much. In the far corner goes Gooch. Not the best place for the big man for Bluefield. Overhands a deep pass to Jeremiah Jenkins. Ten on the shot clock. Now down to nine. Trent Dunn passes into the corner. Gooch feeds inside for Taekwon Reed. Jumps to the basket and scoops with the left hand to score. Taekwon Reed almost has single-handedly kept Bluefield in this game. Back down to a four-point deficit. Bluefield down 63-59. Both teams in the bonus. Eight fouls for St. Andrews. And for Bluefield, seven. Bounce into the right wing for Harvey. Tries to hook out of this double team. He's trapped at the top. Now passes on to the left wing. Here's Isaac Clay. Cuts in on the left block. Chest pass near corner. Rossi. Six on the shot clock. Vincent has to make a move. Drives in on a crossover, two on the shot clock. Step back three at the buzzer, it's good. Wow. That's gotta be incredibly frustrating for Taekwon Reed and the rest of the Bluefield Rams because that was not a high percentage shot. 66-59 and just like that, a back to his seven point lead. Trent Dunn, the freshman, dishes on the left wing. Ryan Jenkins trades it back to the freshman. Gives in the corner for Eva Feeney. Entry lob clapped out of bounds by Donnell Gooch. Back into the hands of St. Andrews. 4.04 are left. 4.04 on the clock left to go in this ball game. Rams trying to avoid losing their fourth game in a row. Isaac Clay matched up with Jeremiah Jenkins. Boy, this would be a big win for St. Andrews as well. Possibly their second win in a row. And for them, it would be another crucial AAC win. Harvey on a head fake, gives to Heath, and then Heath drove in and walked in the process. Back to Bluefield, that's a very good time for a turnover if you're the Bluefield College Rams. 66-59, 3.43 left to go. Trent Dunn walks the ball across the logo and jogs it on that timeline now, 3.35. Rams are being a bit patient here. They have plenty of time. Trent Dunn drives in from the left wing, gallops in, scores the basket with the foul, and the freshman has a chance to complete the and one. That's going to be called on Rossi, his second and a team ninth. 66 to 61. Rams cut it down to a five point lead. You can tell Trent Dunn was doubting himself from around the arc and now driving in. But hip high dribble. Looks, misses the free throw. 66 61, under three and a half minutes to play. Taekwon Reed matched up with Warren Vincent. That's been the matchup of the night. Vincent drives in. A couple of number fives trying to look for some opportunities. Rossi gives back out to Vincent. 3-10 left in the game. You can tell St. Andrews is being patient. Vincent lost the ball, got it back left elbow. His pass, volleyball set it in the air by Donnell Gooch and into the baseline where the cheerleaders are. Eight seconds on the shot clock. St. Andrews will have a chance here. 3 4 on the game clock. Isaac Clay passes in, swatted into the hands of Taekwon Reed by Donnell Gooch. Outlets up to Trent Dunn, gallops to the basket and he's fouled as he hits that padding near the basket pole very hard, but he's all right. That's going to be the 10th foul, so no matter if it was a shooting foul or a foul on the floor, Trent Dunn will go to the line for two shots. Missed his last free throw, though. Chance for the Rams to rally back. 2.58 left to go in the game. A freshman from Raleigh, his first shot. It's true, right through the net, 66-62. Mon Bailey coming in, and Donnell Gooch noting who's got the shooter. So it's what Bailey has been noted for doing tonight, pulling the trigger. And Trent Dunn hits both free throws. A great time to hit both free throws.
Back into the game. It's a three-point contest. St. Andrews operating, taking it right to left. Warren Vinson has the ball. 66-63. 2.50 left to go. Matched up with Trent Dunn. Drives in. Carries out. Chest pass top of the key. Isaac Clay enters the paint. Floats and misses. Loose ball corralled by Trent Dunn, who's fouled in the backcourt by Vinson. Rams are already operating in the double bonus. That's the third foul called on Vincent. And with 2.40 left, Trent Dunn goes to the line once again. Here's Trent Dunn. And the knees shoots and scores. It's a two-point contest. Check. And now here's Cousins. Passes at the top of the arc. His three. No good. Rebound Rossi. Now for the Rams. Can they keep it going? 66 65. Minute 40 left. Crossover for Isaac Clay. Dives into the right side. Crossover again. 13 on the shot clock. A one point lead for St. Andrews. Vincent in the face of Trent Dunn. Eight on the shot clock. Dribbles. Loops with the left hand. No good on a rebound. And it's Donnell Gooch. 66-65. Taekwon Reed crossing into the lane. Loops with a shot and it scores. Rams take with the lead. 67-66. One oh three left to go. Vincent goes to the right with a minute left to play. Isaac Clay jumps for three and connects. 69-67. Rams down by two. Isaac Clay. What a clutch shot. Back into the ball game. Rams are down by two. 69-67. Jeremiah Jenkins takes the ball across the timeline. Hands it over to Taekwon Reed, who's been the clutch shooter today. Rams need a two to tie, a three to take the lead. Trent Dunn doesn't like his look in the right wing. Passes top of the key. Jenkins zips it back out to Trent Dunn. Drives in. Fires the tying mid-range. No good. Gooch gets the rebound. Stick back goes with 34.1 seconds left. Tied up 69-69, another timeout called. This time it's by SAU. What a big time rebound and a put seven fouls. So if they are able to foul or they foul here, that will send St. Andrews to the line for a one and one. Harvey will inbound it and he does to Isaac Clay. 32 seconds left and counting. There's still a shot clock, about a four second differential between game clock and shot clock. Game clock is now down to 25. Clay has it at the timeline. Maya Jenkins tried to throw a hand in there, couldn't get any ball. It appears that St. Andrews will try to run this one down to leave Bluefield with not enough time on the clock. Here's Isaac Clay on the left wing, drives in on a double team, bounces in. It's stolen by Nyquan Cousins. Five seconds now. Cousins drives in, picks it back up. The shot clock goes off. Jemiah Jenkins shoots, and of course the shot clock makes this game a bit more confusing here at the end. The shot clock went off. Jeremiah Jenkins hurled it up with more time on eight at half, or they trailed by eight as half. They trailed by as much as 10 in the game. Jeremiah Jenkins will inbound. Goes for Trent Dunn, now gives it in to Nyquan Cousins. It's stolen away by Vincent. One second, chucks up a shot. It's no good. And after the steal, we will have overtime. 
Not the look that Bluefield wanted, and we'll play five more minutes here in Bluefield. Time, 69-69. Vincent looked to be a bit hurt after that steal and the three to try to win the game, but he is all right. Tip goes the way of Bluefield, and now the Rams have the ball for the first possession in the OT. They have played an OT this year, most recently against the Virgin Islands at home. Taekwon Reed passes top of the arc, done. Trades it back to his senior guard, lobs it into Donnell Gooch, gives back to Reed, drives baseline, rises, misses the mid range, rebound Gooch, and he's fouled under the basket. So a couple of players in double figures for Bluefield. Jeremiah Jenkins with 13, Taekwon Reed with 21. Three players in double figures for this team from Larnburg, North Carolina. Isaac Clay had 14, 12 for DeAndre Harvey, as well as 12 for Warren Vincent with a double double where he has. 12 points and 18 rebounds. So Donnell Gooch goes to the line. 6'9 senior and misses the free throw. So the score stays 69-69. 4.41 left in the OT. It's the second free throw. 70-69, Rams take the lead in the overtime. First lead in a long time for Bluefield. Last three points have been scored by Donnell Gooch. Good pass into the corner from Rossi. Drives in the baseline and after he gallops in, passes left wing for Vincent. Tries for separation. Passes back to Rossi. Lost the ball and it's stolen by Donnell Gooch. Boy, he's played well in these last five minutes or so. 4.15 left in the OT. Hands it off back to Jenkins. Goes inside the paint. Dribbles into the right wing. Found no separation that he wanted. And now matches up with Isaac Clay. Bounces back to Trent Dunn at the logo. Four minutes left in the OT. Jenkins overheads it back to Trent Dunn. Zips it into the left wing for Taekwon Reed. And another shot clock. Entry pass to Taekwon Cousins. Can't stuff it in. It's a rebound loose going for Vanderhorst. For St. Andrews, right back into the hands of the Knights. Rams lead by one, though, 70 to 69. Not a great game for Nyquan Cousins. Just five points for him and four personal fouls. Isaac Clay into that left wing, chest pass into the near corner for Bailey. And puts it back on a right-handed dribble. Bounces down low to Vanderhorst. Taekwon Reed trying to swat the ball away. Five of the shot clock. Vanderhorst strives in. Arcs of a layup. He missed. Donnell Gooch gets the rebound and underhands it back to Taekwon Reed. 3.20 left to go in the overtime. 70-69. Rams trailed 60-50 to and fought it back to OT. All of these... Opening possessions, trading around in the open look. A good hard bounce pass down low. Gooch gets it right back out to Jenkins. Jumps in front of two defenders. Misses the baseline jumper. And Donnell Gooch got the offensive board. Lobs it back for Cousins. Gives it back on the left wing for Taekwon Reed. And then he passes it at the logo for Trent Dunn. Under three minutes to play in the overtime. Rams operating with a one-point lead, 70-69. to Trent Dunn has it in that deep right wing in front of his own bench. Bounces to Taekwon Reed, who's right in front of the coach and Richard Morgan. Out of the shot clock. Trent Dunn has it in the left wing. Doesn't like his look. Maya Jenkins, his overhead pass, bounces into the Bluefield bench with just three seconds left on the shot clock. And the Rams turn the ball over. Vanderhorst goes to the bench. Here comes DeAndre Harvey into the game, who has 12 points. 70-69 the score. Isaac Clay leading the scoring effort for St. Andrews with 14 points. 2.24 left to go. Bounces to Harvey, right wing. Iquan Reed showing his wingspan right in front of him. And now a block called. Rather, it's an offensive foul on Vincent. So for Warren Vincent, that is his fourth foul. 70-69, got in the way of Jeremiah Jenkins, trying to provide screen coverage. 2.15 left to go. Rams with just a one-point lead. Only one basket has been scored in this entire overtime, and it was a free throw from Donnell Gooch. It was 69-69 going into this extra period. Both teams a bit cold. Red Dunn gallops towards the Rams logo and passes on to the right wing. Nyquan Cousins finds Tyquan Reed. Steps into a three, he's fouled. This is a huge opportunity for Taekwon Reed after he was fouled by DeAndre Harvey to make this 
possibly a two possession game. Now the last time he was fouled on a three, he missed all three free throws. On the night for Reed, he's four of eight from the line, right around a 78% free throw shooter. Second foul on Harvey. First swirls out. They need these free throws. Score stays at 70 to 69. Rams have no rebounders down low at the moment. Reed eyes the 10, shoots. This time it goes 71-69. Eye in the rim again, St. Andrew's cold, but the Rams need insurance. Another shot, and it goes. He hits two of the three. 72-69, three-point lead for the Rams. 153 left to go in the OT. Isaac Clay with the glasses and all. Jogs the ball into the left wing on a crossover dribble. Goes to the right off of his screen. Drives in, right block. Passes right wing. Here comes Vincent. On a Euro step, skies to the rim and stuffs it in. 72-71, it's a one-point game again, and that was the first basket of the entire overtime for St. Andrews. One and a half minutes to play. Jenkins with the alley-oop, Nyquan Cousins elevates in the rim rocker, puts Bluefield up by three. Oh, St. Andrews fell asleep, that's the play of the game. A minute 15 left to go. What foresight from the sophomore guard to find Jenkins. Now for the tie, Vinson does it with the triple from the top of the arc. And a timeout is called by Randy Hernandez. Wow. 74-74. We'll resume classes tomorrow looking for a way to smile going into a possible 8 a.m. Minute five left. Trent Dunn taking the ball up. There will be a midcourt trap. And Jeremiah Jenkins bounces the ball across that midcourt line on the far side. Lobs it over to Dunn. This is right wing. Cousins feeds Tyquan Reed. Euro step, ugly layup, rebound Rossi. Underhands it back to Vincent. 48 seconds left to go in the OT, 74-74. Vincent just tied it up. Crossover, slipped up, almost lost the ball, retreated, got it back out. 37 on the game clock now. Driving in, passes into the far corner. Isaac Clay for the lead. It's an air ball, bounces back out to Vincent. Step back three, left wing, bounces out again. Tipped in the hands of Taekwon Reed. Shot clock is off. Jeremiah Jenkins slows down, goes in the lane, finds Cousins for the lead. Too short. Rebound for Rossi, or rather, that's Harvey. Gets it back out to Rossi. 12 on the clock now. And with Bluefield's last couple of offensive possessions, you have to wonder, why didn't you go straight to the rim? Seven. St. Andrews goes out with the squad of Rossi, Vincent, Clay, Harvey, as well as Jamon Bailey, another three-point shooter. Rams will go with a full-court press. Rossi bounces in to Harvey. Under hands play, 10 seconds, now at eight seconds. Vincent now, five seconds across the timeline. He's gonna try to shoot it, jumps into a three. Back iron miss, Jenkins with a rebound and we're going to a second overtime. This game continues to go. Double overtime, ready to start, 74-74 the score. Donnell Gooch, DeAndre Harvey in the middle and Gooch claps the ball back to Trent Dunn. Both teams only scored five points in that first OT, trying for a different trend here. Taekwon Reed trades it back with Trent Dunn at the top of the arc, back to Reed now on the right wing. Zips it down low to Donnell Gooch, pivots a pass back out to Reed. Almost 10 on the shot clock, 12 to be exact. Taekwon Reed looking out of the zone defense, finds Taekwon Cousins looking for a step back. Six on the shot clock now, Donnell Gooch drives in, fires a mid-range, back iron miss. Here's Luis Rossi with a defensive board for St. Andrews. Four and a half minutes to go, Rams using up most of the shot clock, and Isaac Clay will move the ball up. You can tell both teams, the fatigue is starting to show because these are two teams that tried to run the ball up and move quickly, and now, they're slowing it down and using up most of that shot clock. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Harvey pivots back out towards the top of the arc. Crosses over, drives right side of the paint. Feeds Bailey, jumps into a three. Yes, sir, 77-74. Getting it done from the far corner. So Bailey gives them a three-point lead. Rams now forced to play catch-up. 
And the way the threes have not been falling for Bluefield today, three is almost a two-possession game. Mike Juan Ree trying to prove us wrong in the right wing. Dribbles and passes on to the left side for Trent Dunn. Dunn with a couple of those big clutch foul shots as now Trent Dunn goes for the tie and scores. The freshman nails the three. Proving everybody wrong, including myself, from the left wing. 77-77. Under three and a half minutes to play. Haymakers all around. Got to remember, if the Rams foul, it's only a one and one. Meanwhile, a steal rolling into the hands of Donnell Gooch. Tyquan Reed poked the ball away, and he's fired up. And trying to take the lead back. 3.09 and counting on the game clock. Trent Dunn. Trading the ball around between his left hand and his right hand, right in front of that Rams logo. Under three minutes to play now. Lob to Trent Dunn, returns Reed, feeds in the corner. It's Nyquan Cousins. Cousins puts it back on the deck, gives it back up top to Trent Dunn. The freshman bounces in the corner. Two of the shot clock, Reed fires at the buzzer. It's no good. Tipped out of bounds. Who was it off of? It was off of Nyquan Cousins. Rams were not aware that the shot clock was running down there. 77-77, the score remains. Classic here at the Dome continues. Two and a half minutes to play. 2.35 and counting. Isaac Clay and a cold as well. He needs to find his way around the arc. But Bailey getting it done for St. Andrews. Under hands on the right side for Vincent. Ten on the shot clock. Vincent pressure by Trent Dunn. Left handed dribble. Spins on the right side. Jumps for two. Off the glass. Bounces around. Taekwon Reed spun out for the ball. It was almost a walk call. But instead he fed it back to Donnell Gooch. 77-77. The score remains. Trent Dunn. What a yellow step. Scoops and scores with the left hand. Freshman has taken over the game. 79-77. Bailey for the lead. He swatted. Goes off the side of the backboard. And then the ensuing pass is stolen by Nyquan Cousins. Here's Taekwon Reed straight to the hoop. Yes, sir. 81-77. Timeout called by St. Andrews. And a big timeout indeed as the Rams have taken a two-possession lead. 25 points tonight for Taekwon Reed, the senior from Goldsboro, North Carolina. The layup, the icing on the cake with a four-point lead now. A minute 50 left to go. St. Andrews has shown their tenacious nature for most of the night. Meanwhile, for Trent Dunn, now with 11 points off of a couple of big clutch shots. Taking the ball across the timeline. It's Isaac Clay. Clay passes top of the key. Now with Clay into that left wing, trying to break off of Trent Dunn. Dribbles out, passes to Rossi into the right side. He's not a three-point shooter. Gives back to Clay, who is. Pumps a three, swells out, rebound, Nyquan Cousins. We're in the double OT, ladies and gentlemen, under a minute and a half left to play. 121 on the clock. A score here would put the Rams up almost with an unsurmountable comeback for St. Andrews. Making it a three-possession game, nearly under a minute left. 108, good drive for Taekwon Reed, stuffs, and the putback goes for Nyquan Cousins. The roll couldn't go for Reed, but you bet it went for Nyquan Cousins. 83-77, three doesn't go for Bailey, ranges back on his offensive board, finds Harvey down low, who stuffs it back in. 83-79 the score, a couple of big dunks in these overtimes for Nyquan. 83-79, four-point lead for the Rams. 52.9 seconds left in the double OT. Rams trailed by as much as 10 in the second half. Taekwon Reed tries to get out of a trap. He does. Passes into the backcourt for Jemiah Jenkins. Finds Reed. Gets across the timeline. Trading the ball around. Gooch gives it back out to the timeline. 41 seconds now. St. Andrews tried for a foul, and now they will succeed. Carlos Heath fouls Jemiah Jenkins, who is that 90% free throw shooter for Bluefield. Really a chance for him to flex his muscles here. 83-79, 37.9 seconds left to go in the game. Potentially. So here's Jenkins eyeing the rim. It's been perfect from the line tonight. Eyes the rim, flicks the wrist. You bet, 84-79. A little under 38 seconds left to play. St. Andrews forced to play some major catch up here. It was 74-74 going into this overtime. Rams have already scored 10 points in this double OT. Both teams were really ice cold in that first overtime. 
After that first big three for St. Andrews, the Rams really have rattled off a couple of big shots. Both free throws go. It's 85 to 79. Rams lead now by six. Rossi dribbles into the corner. Now he's in trouble. Lobs it back out. Stolen away by Dunn. Right back to Tyquan Reed. A hard bounce to Jeremiah Jenkins. Reverse layup goes in. 87-79, eight-point lead for Bluefield. St. Andrews trying to go in transition. Nyquan Cousins has it, gives it back to Jeremiah Jenkins. After the steal, Bluefield will dribble this out. No fouls have been called yet, and it looks like St. Andrews will call off the dogs. 87-79, what a win for Bluefield. Fighting back in this one after the Knights had that big win against Union. Bluefield holds on, comes back, and wins this one in double OT. 87-79, a thriller in Bluefield, and what a double overtime it was for the Rams. We're glad that you were with us throughout this entire game here in Bluefield as the Rams improved to 11-5 on the year. And six and four in the AAC. St. Andrews falls to five and 11 and four and six in the conference. But after a big night from Taekwon Reed, Bluefield can smile on their way to Johnson City this Thursday where yours truly will be on the audio only call. So that will do it here for the two Virginias or Lori Fowler, my camera operator. My name is Bailey Engel saying so long from Bluefield.